Mr. President, my name is Ben Murray Bruce, representing Biosa East. Senator Tazi, this is a very, very important motion, probably one of the most important motions ever read on the floor of the Senate. It is important because we're at a position where the hunted are now killing the hunters, and the hungry are now killing the well-fed, and the poor are now killing the rich. And this is what we've been talking about for a long time. We're a nation of 200 million, maybe. I don't think Nigerians even know the true population of Nigeria. We're not paying attention to the most important part of Nigeria. And let me explain. For our people to be unemployed, to, to be employed, the economy has to grow at 15% for about 30 years to employ every Nigerian living today. Our reaction to employ them in government is counterproductive. It does two things. One, it increases the budget, which means there's less money for social intervention. Successive governments in Nigeria have run away from the fundamental issues affecting Nigeria. One, what are population control policies? Does anybody care? how many children we have. Does anybody care how many children we ought to have? How many children make up an economy that is truly functional? Nobody cares. So we all talk about the issue, but we avoid what is truly important, population control policies. Now, we don't have to be as draconian as China, where they have a one-child policy, but a one-child policy in China helps stabilize the Chinese economy. And they can grow at seven, eight, nine percent Muslims and Christians will criticize me for my position, but unless this government and all governments have a, 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 a population control policy, one, we cannot solve the problem. Two, we must spend more money on education. Right now, we have a choice. We either buy books or we buy bombs. We either buy books or we buy bullets. We, we are buying more bullets, four times more bullets than we are buying books. If we don't educate our people, we have to kill them. If you don't kill them, they'll kill you. So you have a choice. Educate them or get killed or kill them. A policy of having a great military, great police force, policing the rich with barbed wire, fence house and bulletproof cars is not the solution to grow the Nigerian economy. To grow the economy and to provide jobs, we must have fewer people. When I was in the university, I was in the university, my professor asked us a question. He said, are the Jews the chosen people? Everybody in the class I was 18 years old was quiet. He said, are the Jews the chosen people? And he said, let, let us analyze that question. They said the average Jewish family has 1.5 children per family. The average education of a Jew is maybe a master's degree. But what do we have? What is the average education of a Nigerian? So because there are fewer people, they focus on technology, they grow the economy. With fewer people, they have an advanced economy in, 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 in an environment that is not so conducive for great development. But we think having babies is equivalent to wealth is equivalent to success, is equivalent to development, is counterproductive. We analyzed that situation. And here we are today. We are making babies. We're not educating our children. We're not giving them jobs. They have no future. Because they have no future, they carry a gun, they carry a knife, they point it at you, they take you out. Because they see you with a beautiful car. And they're on the streets. So the, the, the road between Kaduna and Kanu is as dangerous as any road in the country. And let me tell you this. The population problem you have in the north is in the whole country. When I went to Bielsa, 10, 15 children with no clothes on in every hut. So don't think the population problem is a northern problem. It is a Nigerian problem. 200 million people with no jobs, 15, 20 million kids out of school cannot solve our problem. We are faced with a revolution that is here. Don't talk about the revolution coming. The revolution is here. As you go home today, you will get a phone call. Somebody's been killed. Somebody's been dead. Somebody's been raped. Somebody's been maimed. Because that is the reality of life. Whether you like it or you don't like it, we have to deal with a population control policy. Muslims and Christians and atheists and whatever you call yourself, do not run away from the subject. I know President Babangida was the only president in the history of Nigeria who tried to deal with this issue by saying, yeah, you should have four children per family. You can have 10, 20, 30, that is fine. But as long as you have 20 children, 50 children, be ready to educate them, give them a job, give them hope. If you don't, we have no choice. And one of you or all of us will be faced with a firing squad very soon. Thank you very much. Deputy Senior President. The of Nigeria, who tried to deal with this issue by saying, yeah, you should have four children per family. You can have 10, 20, 30, that is fine. But as long as you have 20 children, 50 children, be ready to educate them, give them a job, give them hope. If you don't, we have no choice. And one of you or all of us will be faced with a firing squad very soon. Thank you very much. Deputy Senior President.